continuing with our applications of percent, we want to look at percent increase and decrease and a discount. Here's our first problem. A computer programmer's yearly income of $27,000 is increased by 8%. What is the dollar amount of the increase and what is their new salary? So the first thing we want to know is this. What is 8% of 27,000? That's the first thing that we want to know. So we translate n equals 0 0.08 times 27,000. Now when I do that, I multiply 0 0.08 times 27,000, I end up with a dollar amount of $2,160. Now that $2,160 that is the dollar amount of her increase. Now we're going to stay with this problem for a minute. That's the dollar amount of the increase and now what we want to know is what is her new salary. So her new salary will be her old salary, 27000 plus the dot, this increase that she got of 8%. So 27000 plus 2160 I'll add those up and 789 so her new salary will be $29,160. So what we have is this. Uh, a programmer is making $27,000. They get an 8% increase. That 8% increase turns out to be a dollar amount of $2,160. That puts her new salary at her old salary, $27,000, plus the amount of the increase, $2,160. We end up with $29,160. Here's another example. In one year, a new car decreased in value 20%. If it sold for $16,500 when it was new, what was it worth after one year? So what I want to know first of all is what is 20% of 16,500? And that will tell me the amount, the dollar amount of the decrease in value of this. So what number is 20% of 16,500? So the first thing I want to do is find that. Translating, n equals 0 0.20 times 16,500. Now if I do that arithmetic, I'll end up with, let's see, 16,500 times 0.2 is equal to 3,300. So n is equal to 3,300. So that's the dollar amount of the decrease in value of this car because it decreased in value 20% and 20% of $16,500 is $3,300. Now what we want to do is find the value of the car after one year, so I'll subtract this $3,300 from $16,500. So $16,500 minus $3,300, I end up with 0, 0, 3 from 5 is 2, 3 from 6 is 3, and then I have a 1 here. So 13200 that's the new value of this car. And you see the value of the car after one year is 20% less than the value of the car originally, 16500 Now another way to do this problem, if we just wanted to find the value of the car after one year, would be to take 80% of this. Because if it decreases in value 20%, then it's only worth 80% of what it was. Here's our next problem. For problem three, we have a person earning $1,500 a month gets a raise of $120 per month. What is the percent increase in salary? So what I want to know is what percent of $1,500 is this $120? So $120 is what percent of $1,500? So that's the question. Here's my translation. 120 equal what percent times 1500. To solve this equation I divide both sides by 1500. These will divide out and I'll have just n is equal to 120 divided by 1500. If I do that arithmetic I end up with 0. Point, let's see I already did it here, 0, 08 and so I end up with 8%. So if a person earning $1,500 a month gets a $120 per month raise, then the percent increase in the, their salary is 8%. And I find that by asking this question, 120 is what percent of 1,500? 
That translates into an equation that I solve. My answer is 0.08, and I remember that I'm looking for a percent, so I write my answer as 8%. Let's look at another problem. Problem four, shoes that usually sell for $25 are on sale for $20. What is the percent decrease in price? So if they normally sell for $25 and now they're on sale for $20, then they decreased in price $5. So what I want to know is this. $5 is what percent of, and when I do percent decrease, I have to go with my original price, which is $25. So 5 is what percent of 25. Translating, I have 5 equals n times 25. Divide both sides by 25, and I end up with n is equal to 5 divided by 25, because these divided out. 5 divided by 25 is 1 fifth, and that's going to be 20 percent when I change to a percent. So if a pair of shoes normally sells for $25 and they're on sale for $20, then they decreased in price $5. That's the discount. So then I want to know what percent of the original price is that. So I say 5 is what percent of 25. When I do that, I get an equation, translate the equation, or I get the equation, solve the equation, I get 5 over 25, that's 1 fifth. 1 fifth as a percent turns out to be 20%.